What's up guys, Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Welcome to Visualization and Happy New Year. I know it's already 2022. This past year has been great and thank you guys for your support. So for today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about the top five Power BI updates in 2021. How about that? This is a good way to start this new year, right? Quick disclaimer though, this is according to my experience, this is my opinion, so please be aware of that, okay? So now guys, as always, let's go to Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. Now guys, let's talk about the first feature that I find really, really helpful. This is the x-axis constant line. This update came in March 2021. And let me give you guys a quick intro. So now with this update, we can add an x-axis constant line in line charts for continuous type data. For example, this constant line is always used in visuals in the anomalies pane to indicate the daytime of the anomalies in the series. So let's do this. I have a quick example here. And of course we have already the visual here, right? In order to activate, in order to add this constant line, we're gonna go over this section right here. All right, so here we're gonna hit the X axis constant line and then add line. And then we're gonna hit line here. And here we're gonna add June 1st, 2014, right? This is just as a reference, okay? See right here? If we go over this visual, right? You can see right there, June 1st, 2014. That is the the highest point that we have for this specific period. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna hit this option here, this calendar. We're gonna select June here. And then we're gonna select the year. We are talking about 2014 right? It's right there. And of course, this is June 1st, right? There you go. Boom. There it is, my friends. So we can also customize this, right? So we can change the color if we want. How about, how about this color right here? There you go, right? You can play with transparency here as well. What else? We can add right here a shade area. We can do that. Boom. We can also play with this transparency. How about right here? 83%. That looks better, right? What else? So we can also add a data label here. See right here? Because this indicates that we are talking about June 1st, 2014. See? This is a really, really cool feature so please enjoy it. So now let's go to the next feature. All right, so you guys might know that Calculate is one of the most powerful DAX functions in Power BI, right? So let's take a look at this change that happened in March, 2021 as well. If we take a look at this table right here, DAX measures, I already created here the measure, okay? I'm not gonna teach you how to write DAX, but I wanna teach you the changes, okay? All right, so let's hit this measure here. There you go. And I have the old version here, right? I comment this out and I have the new version here, which in my opinion, it's more efficient, okay? We save a lot of time here if we have large pieces of code, right? So as you guys can see here, the old version, we have the function here, we have the expression, which is a measure that we are referencing, right? And also we have a table here, which is the filter expression. This is a table expression, right? Which function is filter. So then we have also here two columns. We are removing all the filters that we have in these two columns. And then we are applying these inclusive conditions, right? The country should be Mexico and also the sales price should be equal or greater than $300, see? It's quite long, this formula, but now with this new update, we can reference 
the filters here in the next line, right? The filters line. So without any issues in the past, it used to give us an error here when we did this type of syntax, but now with this new update, no more errors. So this is awesome, right? So guys, this is also a nice feature and please use it. And we can see the results here if we want. Let's minimize this real quick. So let's create a card real quick. It's right there and then let's hit this measure. Boom, there it is, right? Perfect, now let's take a look at the next feature. Date and daytime new syntax. This new feature came in August 2021. So let's take a look at this as well. So there is a measure here. There you go. So what is happening here, right? So we have this measure called profit new daytime syntax. We are using the calculate function here as well as a reference. We are referencing a different measure here, which is profits. It's right here, right? And then we also have the condition, the inclusive condition. So real quick here, right? So we are having this filter, this inclusive filter, right? Where it says we need to filter dates that are greater than January 1st, 2014 after 2.30. And the other condition here is that this date should be lower than this date as well, which is June 1st and the time is 2.30 as well. So now we can do that by using this new syntax, as you can see, DT there. But in the past, we weren't able to do that, right? Before this update, we had to write something like this. We had to use more functions to create this type of filters. And this is what we have here as a reference, right? We had to use the date function here and it gave us the, the date, of course. And then we had to use time so it can give us the hour, minute, and seconds. And the same thing for the other filter as well. But now with this new update, we can do this real quick by using this new syntax. So guys, there you have it. Please use it. Also, if we want, we can create a card with this measure. Let's do that real quick. There you go. And this is the measure. Boom, there it is quite straightforward, right? So now guys, let's take a look at the other feature, okay? All right, so line chart series labels. This is also an awesome feature. So guys, let's do this. So how does it work? So before we start playing with this new feature, let me give you more background here. Now guys, by using the series label option in the formatting pane, you can turn on and format labels that appear on the left or right sides of your series categories in line charts. And of course, this supplement the legend in providing clarity on which lines are associated with which categories. So it's a really, really nice feature and let's do this. As a reference, this update came in September, 2021. All right, so let's do that. Let's select the visual here. So once we selected this visual, Let's select format your visual here. So once we are here, we're gonna turn these serious labels on. Let's do that. Check this out. Boom, there you go. You can also edit this if you want. So let's do that real quick. See right here, the series position is on the right. So there's another option here. We can do this on the left as well. There you go. So we're gonna leave this on the right for this exercise. What else? Values. Let's take a look at values here. We can also increase right here the font size. There you go, 12, 13, 12. So you can play with that. And then what else? Background. You can also turn this on if you want. There you go. See, this is a really, really nice feature as well. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. So there you have it, you can play with that. So now guys, let's go to the next feature. Sparklines, this is an awesome feature as well. This came last month, December, 2021. So how does it work? Sparklines are tiny charts shown within cells of a table or matrix. 
that make it easy to compare a large number of trends quickly. You can use spark lines to show trends in a series of values, such as seasonal increases or decreases, economic cycles, or to highlight max and minimum. As you guys can see here, we have a matrix. We have this information there. And don't worry, guys, I'm going to share with you this uh, Power BI report so you can play with that as well. But this is what we have, and let's do this, okay? In order to activate this option, what we need to do is the following. Let's go over the value section here, and then let's hit this option here, this arrow, and there is something called Add a Spark Line. Let's hit that option, and let's see what happens. Boom. There you go. So for the Y axis, we already have profits, right? Which is the measure that we created. And then for the X axis, here we need to select the date column from the calendar table. Our calendar table is called dates here. So that's why we see dates. We select date from the calendar table and then hit create and let's see what happens. Boom. There you go, guys. So we can also play with this. We can also keep playing with this, right? So give this a better format. We can do that. So let's go to format your visual here. And then there is an option called spark lines. Let's hit this option here and then line. Perfect. We can change the color here if we want. So we can change this to, for example, how about this color? Uh-huh. There you go. You can increase the width if you want. How about two? We can do that. There you go. How about marker here? Let's select marker. Uh, where's marker? Right there. So marker, how about if we show these markers for the highest value and also isolate it? There you go. We can also change this color. We can make this match the other one. There you go. You can change the size here as well. How about four? There you go, my friends. What do you think? Like it? I like it. So how do we read this? Quite straightforward. So we are talking about countries here and also segments, as you can see. So for example, we are saying for Canada or within Canada, the segment called channel partners. So let's hover over this. So profits by date range between 4,800 and 45,000. It gives you an idea about what's happening with profits for that segment in that specific country in Canada. So guys, what do you think? These are the top five new features in Power BI for 2021. And I hope you enjoy this, but wait. Wait, 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 wait. So I have two bonuses for you because I know you love learning new stuff. So I have two bonuses, as you guys can see here. Let's take a look at the first one, Zoom sliders. How does it work? This new feature, this new update came in January, 2021. Let's select this visual here and then let's go over this option for my visual and check this out. There is an option here called zoom slider let's turn this on boom so what we can do with this new feature right we can visualize more details for example there you go see there's more details there so here we don't have to use any filter just play with this and you can also do the same here for the y-axis right mm -hmm. awesome features as well there you go. That was bonus number one. And now let's take a look at bonus number two. This is the search bar. This is also a nice feature. This came in January, 2021. How does it work? If you can see here, there is the search bar. So let's hit this option here. And then there is more options, right? You can refresh your visual quite straightforward here. Let's do that. It's refreshing. With this option, you can perform tasks quicker, right? Faster. See right here? Check this out. So you can also take a look at the other components here, maybe recent files, there you go. Maybe themes, 
whatever you want to do. But you get the idea here, right? So we can use this search bar to look for something in a faster way, okay? So what do you think? What do you think about these tips? There you have it, my friends. I hope you found this helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.